Kelly Sutherland was born to Max and Evelyn Sutherland in Grand Prairie, Alberta on October 29, 1951. His father Max had a lifelong passion for horses and in 1960 Max began running his horses in flat races. Soon after, Kelly began his competitive career as a jockey, riding his first race in Rio Grande at the tender age of nine. In 1965, Max Sutherland and Dave Lewis partnered up to purchase some horses, and together the two men assembled their first chuck wagon outfit. After a couple of years of competing in smaller amateur events, Dave Lewis joined the Canadian Rodeo Cowboys Association and in 1967 headed out on the professional circuit with 15-year-old Kelly Sutherland as his number one barn hand. When they got to the Calgary Stampede, young Kelly wanted to outride for Dave Lewis, but Kelly's father Max wouldn't allow it. But the following week at the Manitoba Stampede, Dave Lewis didn't bother to ask Max Sutherland, and 15-year-old Kelly Sutherland competed in his first chuck wagon race as an outrider, and it was in 1967 that the legend of Kelly Sutherland was born. The next year, Kelly continued to compete as an outrider, and in 1968, he competed at the Calgary Stampede for the first time outriding for Dave Lewis. In August of 1968, Kelly decided to grab the lines himself and compete in his first show as a chuck wagon driver at the Dawson Creek Fall Fair, a decision that would change the face of chuck wagon racing forever. On March 18, 1969, Kelly married Debbie Renault, and after a honeymoon in Puskupi, British Columbia, the two newlyweds would soon set out on an adventure that would cover a half century over six decades. Mentored by chuck wagon legends Dave Lewis and Ralph Fegan, and backed by sponsor Archie Hackwell, 17-year-old Kelly Sutherland raced for the first time as a professional chuck wagon driver at the Cloverdale Rodeo and Race Meet in British Columbia, and drove at his first Calgary Stampede that same year, winning the day money twice and placing an incredible ninth overall in his Rangeland Derby debut. Just a week after the 1969 Calgary Stampede, Kelly had a major breakthrough when he won his first show as a chuck wagon driver at one of the biggest shows of the day at the Manitoba Stampede. Kelly closed out his rookie season and the 1960s in seventh place overall in the world standings. The next two seasons saw Kelly continue to enter the winner's circle, including the second major win of his career at the Cheyenne Frontier Days in 1971. But his hell for leather dash to the track style at times proved costly and he failed to crack the top 10 in the world standings in both 1970 and 1971. But 1972 was a breakout year for 19-year-old Kelly Southern. At the 50th running of the Calgary Stampede Rangeland Derby, he turned in one of the most impressive performances in the event's history. At a time when the Rangeland Derby's champion was determined by total aggregate time after 10 nights, Kelly, even after incurring a whopping 25 seconds in penalties over the first nine nights, was sitting third overall and still seen as the favorite to capture the big show. On the final night, Kelly made the run he needed to capture the Rangeland Derby but a one-second laid-out rider penalty handed the championship to Ralph Began by a mere 83 one-hundredths of a second. If there was any consolation for Kelly Sutherland, he was part of the winning outfit that year as an outrider for Ralph Began. And following the Calgary Stampede, Kelly won the next three shows consecutively and finished out the 1972 second in the world standings. By 1974, Kelly Sutherland reached the peak of chuck wagon racing. Along with outriders Butch David, Richard Fisher, Roy David, and Randy Fisher, Kelly won his first Calgary Stampede Rangeland Derby Championship and capped off the year by winning the World Chuck Wagon Championship for the first time as well. By the time the 1978 season wrapped up, Kelly was a four-time Calgary Stampede Champion and a two-time World Champion Chuck Wagon Driver. But in 1979, philosophical differences arose between the Calgary Stampede and the Canadian Rodeo Cowboys Association, and the Pro Cowboys Association prohibited their members, both rodeo and chuck wagon, from competing at the Calgary Stampede. Never one to back down from a challenge, Kelly organized a group of financial backers, himself among them, and worked with the High River Ag Society to create the Battle of the Giants an alternate event that would go head-to-head -head with the Calgary Stampede. 
Kelly promptly won the 1979 event and by season's end had captured his third World Chuck Wagon Championship. The 1980s, albeit successful, was a turbulent decade for Kelly Sutherland. Late in 1980, the Wagon Men decided to leave the Pro Cowboys Association and go out on their own as the World Professional Chuck Wagon Association with Kelly as a founding member. Then, after a three year absence, it was announced that the top eight wagons from the WPCA would be invited to compete at the 1982 Calgary Stampede. However, although he finished second in the 1981 World Standings, Kelly was blacklisted from competing at the Rangeland Derby for some comments he made during the dispute. Despite many efforts to keep him out, Kelly's persistence prevailed and he was ultimately reinstated to compete at the 1982 Rangeland Derby. Then in 1984, in the aftermath of a disputed penalty at the Rangeland Derby, Kelly Sutherland withdrew from the Calgary Stampede and at the time it appeared his chuck wagon career would be over. Then I've never made a decision like this before and uh, you know, I, I had a lot of fights uh, to get into Calgary here and when we walked away we buried the hatchets or I didn't shook hands and uh, you know, I, I don't need no cheap shots. I'm in Calgary, I just want a fair shot at trying to win it and uh, I've got a couple cheap penalties and uh, people aren't blind, they can see what happens on the racetrack and, and so I just made my mind up. But after sitting out the last half of the 1984 season and the first half of the 1985 season, Kelly got the bug to drive again and returned to the WPCA Pro Tour in striking fashion by winning the Manitoba Stampede and again qualifying for the 1986 Rangeland Derby. His return to the Calgary Stampede in 1986 was just as striking as he swept the Rangeland Derby Championship and the Calgary Stampede aggregate as well. And by the time the 1980s had wrapped up, Kelly had also tied Ralph Vegan for the most World Chuck Wagon Championships with five. Success did not slow down for Kelly Sutherland in the 1990s. He was honored with the WPCA's prestigious Chuck Wagon Person of the Year Award in 1994 and added three more World and three more Rangeland Derby Championships to his resume. As he crossed over into the new millennium, the championships continued to pile up and so did the records. In 2002, Kelly made history when he tied Dick Cosgrave's 60-year-old record of 10 Rangeland Derby Championships and brought his total of World Chuck Wagon Championships to a record of 10 as well. It's a history-making moment. Kelly Sutherland has just tied a record thought unbeatable. This is Kelly Sutherland's 10th Rangeland Derby title. It ties the late Dick Cosgrave. The 2010s would be Kelly's sixth and final decade as a chuck wagon driver, and he christened it by achieving what many thought to be unachievable. Tonight, history has just been made. In the early days, Dick Cosgrave won 10 Calgary Stampede titles. Tonight, the man beside me has broke that record. He is now the 11-time GMC Rangeland Derby champion. Part of history. In 2011, he hosted the Royal Couple during their visit to the Calgary Stampede, won his 12th and final Calgary Stampede Rangeland Derby, and his 12th and final World Chuck Wagon Championship. At the Calgary Stampede Centennial Celebration in 2012, Turvita Corp bought Kelly's tarp for $300,000, a record high price at the Calgary Stampede Canvas Auction, and in an emotional presentation, Kelly was honored with the Calgary Stampede's prestigious Guy Wiedek Award, presented annually to the one chuck wagon or rodeo competitor who best embodies what the cowboy stands for and who best typifies the spirit of the Calgary Stampede. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an honor. Uh, sorry, a little emotional right now, but uh, I just spent my whole life trying to promote uh, chuck wagon racing in the Calgary Stampede, and Calgary is uh, the home of chuck wagon racing, and uh, I just try to win every time I come to town. Thanks. 
He ran his final race at the Calgary Stampede in dramatic fashion in 2017, and the acclaimed career of Kelly Sutherland officially ended at the conclusion of the 2017 WPCA race season, where he was honoured with the WPCA's George Norman Lifetime Builders Award. The script that Kelly Sutherland wrote over his 50-year career is not only staggering, but almost unparalleled in the entire sporting world. 12-time world champion, 12-time Calgary Stampede Rangeland Derby champion, 10-time Manitoba Stampede champion, 8-time Pinocchio Stampede champion, 6-time Calgary Stampede aggregate winner, 6-time North American champion, 5-time Battle of the North champion, five-time Strathmore Stampede champion, among many, many others. He has competed in a record 77 championship final heats, 21 of them at the Rangeland Derby alone, and was victorious in 25. Through all the successes and setbacks, the praises and the criticisms, Kelly's wife Debbie has been by his side every step of the way. And their children, Tara, Mark, and Mandy, have all played a supportive role in their father's incredible journey. He's been known as Killer, the King, the Feather, or just simply Kelly. But no matter the moniker, the name Kelly Sutherland has become synonymous with chuckwagon racing. His extraordinary ability as a chuckwagon driver and as a horseman combined with his unequivocal charisma, made Kelly Sutherland to chuck wagon racing what Muhammad Ali was to boxing. His records might fall someday, but what can never be displaced is the role Kelly Sutherland played in building chuck wagon racing into a sport for the masses. And tonight, we pay special tribute to the greatest champion chuck wagon racing has ever seen, the legendary Kelly Sutherland.